is Skyblock difficult? Difficulty in and of itself is a very subjective topic in gaming. What is difficulty? How hard do you want a game to be? So many things can be asked about difficulty, but in this video I want to focus on a few specific things. Hello random people on the internet, my name is Banana, and today we are taking a look at difficulty in Skyblock. In my eyes there are basically three forms of difficulty present within most games. There's player based, damage based, and mechanic based difficulty. I'm going to be talking about every single one of these types in relation to Skyblock and other games that have examples of them. Hopefully by the end of this video we can really determine if Skyblock is a difficult game, and if it isn't, how can we fix it? One thing that is difficult for me at least is that when I look at my analytics it says only 45,000 of you are subscribed. Subscribing to the channel is as simple as clicking one button, so I think it should be pretty easy for anyone not subscribed to do so. Now on to the first type of difficulty. Player based difficulty is a difficulty that only exists because you have other players around you. Every team based shooter has this kind, whether it be something intense like CSGO or even a more childish game like Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. These games are hard because you either need to rely on people or compete with other people. Look at Fall Guys for example. In the minigame Seesaw, if you are left alone it is a legitimate walk in the park. With no one around, you get to choose whatever path you feel you should go down, and you can progress very quickly. But if we put some players in the mix, you have to rely on them to attempt to balance the seesaws and not tip you straight into the depths below. Skyblock also has aspects of player difficulty. A dragon is objectively not hard to fight, you just pull back a bow and shoot it from a distance. The difficulty of the fight comes from the fact that you have to fight other people to get the best loot. If you're not sweating your brains off with a voodoo doll or meleeing with a 26 billion coin emerald blade, you will lose. In dungeons, you have to rely on your team to not suck. Sort of. On the earlier floors, it's really easy to carry your team because, I mean, it's just not that hard and if you're a better player, you can really help your team out. But ever since the secret finder was added to dungeons, even later floors can be pretty easy because you can just sort of put on your big boy pants, tie your team to your back, and carry them if you try hard enough. But if one of your teammates isn't good and he dies a lot or he fails tic-tac-toe or the blaze puzzle, you're out of luck and you're out of an S run. Overall, this type of difficulty will be in most if not all multiplayer games and in Skyblock especially, I don't think it's that hard to overcome. More competition in Skyblock would be a welcome change to many, but it seems like the admins may want to stray away from competition with the removal of the Colosseum and the addition of other forgiving mechanics within the game mode. Damage based difficulty is one of the best kinds of difficulty and also one of the worst kinds. It comes from when a player is basically impeded by their progress in a game. Whether that be by not doing enough damage or taking too much damage, they're unable to succeed because they're too weak for the encounter. Obviously you want to have this kind of barrier on players, you can't have an early game player being able to beat a late game boss, so there needs to be some form of progression that would lead up to the player finally being able to conquer the fight with the right gear. It's a staple in pretty much all looter shooter games or RPGs, but sometimes damage based difficulty can get a bit, for lack of a better word, bullshit. Someone could have the best stuff in the game, but still have an insanely tough time with an activity or boss purely due to this kind of difficulty. If something gets too tanky or a player is too weak, even at max level, the player feels cheated. And if the player feels cheated, they begin to cheat the game. Look at some Destiny 1 Nightfall strikes to see this in action. Bungie made the bosses of these strikes have insanely high health and damage, so what did people do? Well, they found an out of bounds portion of the map and straight up killed them through a wall. This is not fun. Skyblock has this kind of problem right now. Any semblance of difficulty is basically just asking two questions. One, do you have enough health? Or two, do you have enough damage? If you answered no to either of these questions, uh oh, you can't beat the fight. People will then take advantage of cheese strategies just like in Destiny. They'll put down a decoy above where the mobs spawn so they only have to fight bats, or they'll use a tiger pet and a magma bow to try and one shot the boss. When a game is only difficult because the mobs hit hard and survive long, the difficulty begins to just feel like bullshit. And when it feels like bullshit, you quit. The last form of difficulty in games is mechanic based difficulty. Mechanic based difficulty is the actual best form of difficulty in my opinion. The difficulty basically sums up to one thing, skill. 
Even if you have the best weapon or armor in the game, you cannot beat some things without skill. You'll get the Fall Guys minigame Slime Climb, and there's no RNG here. There's no blaming failure on an external source, there is only skill. Skill of which I do not have. Every single raid in Destiny to date has a lot of mechanical difficulty, which is why Destiny is probably my favorite game of all time. Even at max power level with the best loadouts in the Wrath of the Machine boss fight, if you don't kill the right enemies at the right time and get stuns off effectively with your teammates, you won't be able to deal enough damage and you will inevitably fail. A lot of the time this type of difficulty will be intertwined with player based difficulty because most mechanics require multiple people to participate in them, whether it be holding a plate or having one person shoot an enemy while another throws a bomb the enemy spawns in. Skyblock has just begun to get something like this in the last boss fight added on Dungeons Floor 4 and that's the Thorn boss fight. Even if you are the best geared players this side of the Mississippi, if you miss a bow shot, you can't deal damage to Thorn. Mechanics make every single fight a challenge for every player present within it. Having to micromanage certain things and always being on the lookout for whatever is going to kill you next makes the fight more fun in my opinion. If Skyblock actually gets more of this type of thing going, the game could be hard for old and new players alike, which would add a whole new level of fun to the game. So with those three types of difficulty in mind, I once again pose the question, is Skyblock difficult? I would bet that the majority of you realize that no, Skyblock is not hard. Or maybe you already knew that, or you think it's hard, and in that case you're probably A, a non, B, a goldfish, or C, just flat out wrong. Because Skyblock at this point in the game is basically just an idle game combined with a clicker game. Honestly, Cookie Clicker is a fantastic comparison to Skyblock in terms of difficulty before the dungeons update. Imagine if instead of clicking cookies, you clicked Slayer bosses, and instead of buying clicker bots that get you points while you sleep, you have minions that get resources while you sleep. Sure, the end released and had mobs that had more health, but the game still stayed generally easy. You just had to get better gear and then it became a zealot simulator. But when Skyblock actually goes in a direction of real difficulty, mechanical difficulty, whether that be through logic based puzzles like tic-tac-toe or cool methods of damaging the boss like the spirit bow, I feel Skyblock really begins to shine. A wise man once said, the game is fun. The game is a battle. If it's not fun, why bother? If it's not a battle, where's the fun? If Skyblock isn't a battle, how is it fun? Skyblock is not a difficult game. Right now, I personally feel that Skyblock has strayed pretty far into the gross type of difficulty, just increasing the health of everything and calling it a day. But there is still hope, there is still a light at the end of the tunnel. If we can get more mechanical difficulty and less focus on just raw health and damage, maybe Skyblock can become a battle. While some games may be too hard and thus lack fun for some people, I think Skyblock is at the perfect point to introduce new types of difficulty that challenge the player harder than ever before. I'm okay with Skyblock getting a bit challenging in the future, as long as it doesn't get as hard as a game like Fall Guys. Fall Guys is just an insanely stupid, addictingly fun, very difficult piece of shit.